Guys, I recently got a solar system installed on my roof, which is just insane. It's mind blowing. On many days of the year, it's given me enough energy to to charge two Tesla Model Ys or two Xpeng G6s. The Xpeng G6 is the car that I'll be using. Uh, so my solar will be powering my EV. In fact, I'm about to pick it up this week, which is really, really exciting. But the efficiency of solar panels is skyrocketing. The records just keep getting broken. And what this means is that as the price of solar continues to fall, as it does, pay no attention to the media because their facts are just made up. The price of solar continues to come down. The efficiency goes up at the same time. Now, that means that actually the combination of solar with battery storage is cheaper than coal in almost every country now worldwide which is game changing on a number of levels, especially when you consider the fact that we now have new solar panels that have just been revealed within the last week, which are much more efficient than the solar panels on my roof that were only installed months ago. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you wanna use the solar company that I, that I used here in Australia for my new system, I did all the research, took me, I'm one of those research geeks i look at all the reviews i look at all, I look at all this different stuff and i know there's lots of fake reviews out there there is i part of my job in the past marketing department um there was a fake reviews section i know it sounds bad but this is very common for many companies they have a section of their business that uh employs these dark arts anyhow i looked at all that stuff and coming from a marketing background i could tell what was real and what wasn't and these guys had the best reviews in australia hands down easily Resync Solar, I'll put a link in the description and if you use my link, then they will give you a bit of a discount on your system. Within the last few days, a, a new record was set for solar cells, 25.7%. So these new solar cells are a little bit different to normal solar panels and that's pretty common. Researchers set a new benchmark in solar technology achieving a record-breaking power conversion efficiency of 25.7% for a perovskite organic tandem solar cell. Basically the solar cells that are used on people's roofs now everywhere around the world. So mine are around about 22.8%, about 3% less than these are. The solar industry is so amazing because if you look at 10 years ago, solar panel efficiency was literally about half of where it's at today. Or 10 or about 15 years ago, about half of where it's at today. This new solar cell combines a wide band gap perovskite bottom cell with a narrow band gap organic top device, marking a huge advancement in the pursuit of more efficient solar energy panels. By combining a treated perovskite layer with an organic layer that has a narrow band gap of 1.27 EB, in other words, very, very narrow, the resulting organic solar cell achieved a power conversion efficiency of 26.4%. It's been certified, the company claimed 26.4, but it has been officially globally certified at 25.7. According to researchers from the University of Potsdam in Germany and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, using an organic cell as the bottom layer is also better for the environment as it has a lower carbon footprint. It's also cheaper to manufacture apparently. So these solar panels, the reason I'm doing this video is because very good chance within a few years time, you'll be able to buy similar panels with similar technology. In recent years, perovskite has become a popular choice for tandem solar cells. Perovskite combines two types of cells to break the efficiency limit of single junction solar cells. Perovskite organic TSCs are gaining attention, says Interesting Engineering, because they use a wide band gap perovskite solar cell as the front layer and a narrow band gap organic solar cell as the back layer. These cells offer good stability and the potential for very high power conversion efficiency. The overall performance of TSCs may be lowered by the wide band gap perovskite cells propensity to lose more voltage than conventional perovskite cells. The recombination of charges in the interface between the C60 layer and the perovskite is a bit of an obstacle apparently. Now researchers say that creating efficient techniques to lessen this interfacial recombination is really crucial to enhancing the functionality and the efficiency of organic perovskite TSC solar cells. To achieve this, the group applied a fresh layer of passivation to the perovskite, which lowers material flaws and improves the cell's overall functionality. So what does this mean? Well, 
Not only are these solar cells very, very thin and apparently easy to mass produce, they showed an impressive 26.4% power conversion under conventional test conditions with a verified efficiency of 25.7%. Now, researchers say that the outcome establishes a new global standard for this kind of solar cell technology, and it shows how perovskite organic tandem cells can be used to produce solar energy solutions that are more effective, more efficient, and potentially cheaper within maybe a few years from now. Now, you can't really say for sure which company are going to manufacture which solar cells and how fast everything's going, but we do know one thing, right? Solar panel efficiency is increasing every year on average by about 1%. Now, some years it's not that, some years it's more than that, but the average is around 1% per year over the past 10 years. If you think about it, that eventually means we'll get to double the efficiency of what we're at today. Is that possible theoretically? Absolutely, it's possible, especially when you consider the fact that a lot of these new solar panels now are being invented or designed or have new materials being used in them that have been identified by artificial intelligence. So as this artificial intelligence becomes faster and better and smarter, um, so will our solar panels. They'll also become cheaper. Honestly, the truth is that coal power, gas power, nuclear, none of them have any chance. Because if you look at the improvements in nuclear power plants over the last 20 years, inclu including the efficiency, the cost, the ROI, None of that makes sense in comparison to solar panels and batteries as the most affordable and efficient means of energy storage anywhere in the world. Tesla has begun building the biggest supercharger in the world. They've just broken ground. So, I mean, Tesla has thousands and thousands and thousands. I think they've got about 60,000 superchargers worldwide. Why is this even a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because this supercharger station, which is, like I said, the biggest in the world, will be supplied with enormous amounts of power from a huge solar farm right next door. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Just want to say a big shout out to the company who installed my solar farm and will soon be installing a battery here at my house as well, which is going to be amazing for me. Uh, huge money savings. I've saved an enormous amount of money since my solar was turned on. I'm paying nothing, to be honest, for electricity at the moment. So if you want to use them, Resync Solar, I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla's largest supercharger site today is at the Harris Ranch Complex in Coalinga or Coalinga, California. There are a staggering 98 charging stores.